Think about it. I got some folk that, done, done, that has done more than you think you've done. Or done just as much as you've done. And just to think about it, you ain't done half the stuff I need for you to do. Amen? Amen. All right. So those are some scriptures the Lord told me to bring out that relate to the ministry. Amen? Those are some of the scriptures that uh, God put on my heart where we, we <clears throat> most of the time you hear us talk about, you've heard it before, you've heard it in Bible study, you've heard it in the preaching, you've heard it in the teaching. Amen? So now, another thing that we do as a ministry, Pastor and I, we make house calls. We'll come to your house. Amen? Done it, been there, done, been, done that before. Oh, me and Pastor, we talked about, we used to drive an hour and a half to Promised Land to church at least two or three times a week. We don't, we don't burnt the road. Amen? With, with two, with baby seats in the car. And, and, and sometimes we'd spend the night in, um, Janesville, in Dart, excuse me, I'm sorry, in D.C., Dart no. City. <laughs> I, I, I did not mean not to give guards their props. <laughs> May I saw a keys, God bless his soul. But um, we done brought the road. We done, we done been to every function that they had, driving an hour and a half until God told us, Lord knows when he told us we could stop. Thank you. <laughs> that when that season was over and, and pastor became the pastor of St. James Church in Durham, but, uh, and then that became, that he did whatever God called him to do there. And then he called us out to start the ministry. So we've been, pastor has pastored a traditional church. So we've been there, done that. So just as Paul, we have been, don't, we've been there. I've been the first lady. Wasn't that a good act? But I've been. <laughs> oh, excuse me, lady, lady. I'm sorry. I still call my pat my first lady first lady, but yeah. now they call them lady. Uh uh. That's what they call you at St. James. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Lady elect. I thought a lady they call, elect was a woman. She was your lady. second wife. They were confused. No, they, no. I know. They, that's <laughs> but they hardly ever called me uh -huh. that because. Thanks be to God. By the yeah. time I got there, God had adored, my pastor had ordained me a minister. So I really had never been a first lady. I've always been a minister. I've been, I haven't ever been called first lady. I've always been called Minister Carmen, and now Evangelist Carmen or Pastor Carmen, whatever. I've never hardly ever been called a first lady. I was in that position, but because I had been ordained by my pastor, Bishop Anthony Terrell Sr., uh, minister before I left Promised Land. Well, actually, I had to come back to preach my initial sermon in 2005. Um, while he, after he got elected uh, pastor of St. James, I had to come back to my home church and preach my. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was. I was. Okay. Uh, yes, 2005, I preached my initial sermon. And I had to come back to Promised Land, my home church, to preach it because Pastor Spru had already become the pastor of St. James. So again, I did not hold that sole position of first lady very long. I became a minister. Uh, <clears throat> so again, we make house calls. We'll come to your house. We'll lay hands. We'll uh, preach a sermon. Whatever God calls us, whatever God calls us to do, wherever he calls us to do it, we'll do it. If God calls us there, we will do it. He will literally meet you where you are, and that's how our ministry is. He, if God said he's going to meet you where, then he's going to send his servants to meet you where you are. If you can't, for some reason, what's going on in your head, you can't come out your house, we'll go there. Then, thank God for you, strength. Amen? Phone calls, I will phone call you. I will text the mess out of you if God says so. <laughs> I have witnesses. I ain't, look, I'm like Pastor. I don't care. <laughs> I got witnesses. Put y'all on my resume. They ain't like it, but I did it. 
But yeah, I will call you and talk to you on the phone outside my job for two to three hours. <laughs> oh, we stuck to my ear. <laughs> but I love it. Don't, don't get it twisted. When I put the phone down, when I stop the texting, I know God has done something. Amen. I know he done something. God don't waste his time. He don't waste his time, but I love the fact that he don't care where you are, what you doing, he'll have you. If you really following Christ, you'll drop whatever you're doing and do what he asks you. Amen? Amen. So, so we make house calls, we make phone calls, we'll meet you where you are. Pastor will do the same thing. Amen. Uh, we believe in a relationship, the word. Okay, here we go. This is the thing. We started a newsletter. <laughs> we have one example and a draft. <laughs> it was very pretty. <clears throat> we and in fact, Colin got one. In fact, I started the call saying, "You see what we got?" <laughs> Amen. But that's something I like. I like to have some somebody can hold on to and read with some revelation, some understanding, some pictures. We have puzzles on it, just like a newsletter. But it was work. Amen? But it was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. And, we, and it was like our mailer. We sent them out to people that are in our system that came to visit, guests or anything. If we had your address, we sent you a newsletter about what was T4L up to. And Lord knows since the last one, we got a book to write. Praise God. Amen. We got a website, we got media, we got a, a Facebook page, we got a, a Life Center page, amen? Those need to be kept up, amen? We got, again, we got a website that always needs to be updated. Poor pastor, he was the one who did it, amen? He would have me write, I would write it for, I'd write it for him and he'd put it out there, Amen? Uh, we got, we even got a Twitter. Pastor got Twitter. Uh, I, I can't remember what it's called, uh, T4L something. But he got, we got a Twitter. I always wanted somebody to uh, do like we did when we were part of the Goldsboro Raleigh District Assembly when we were at Promised Land. Um, as I was um, Assistant Secretary of the Assembly, and I used to have to sit in front of the whole assembly and type while the preacher was preaching because they wanted to have a, a like a summary or a transcript of what was said and people would read it if they weren't there they could read what was what the word was you know you always ask somebody well, what they preach about here you go right here assistant secretary Carmen typed it up while they were preaching it and lord knows can you imagine when they started getting when they started preaching oh my goodness Girl, you know I ain't write all that. <laughs> Get to the word part. Okay. Ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being real. That's how I was. I'd sit there and wait till he said a word. <laughs> so what do you do with his fucking tongue? Girl, you know God don't want that recorded. <laughs> Not on paper. <laughs> And how you spell that? <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. No, right in the So, yeah, I won't actually want that. I mean, because the whole, and the thing about it is, you can sit here, y'all know it's true, you can sit here and write notes down all you want to, but when the spirit catch you up here with the microphone, you're going to say some stuff you can't catch no more. Amen? Or there might be a sermon we want to put in a newsletter that might help somebody. We might could be able to put it in an email. Or we, we might start sending out emails to people, daily devotions, weekly devotions. It's a lot of things you can do, and some of these things you can't catch, and all of us ain't going back to listen to the tapes. Amen? So anyway, that was something, an idea with somebody to do transcripts for the sermons. And again, we got somebody that does live chats or during the services right now. We have to have somebody to do that also. And Pastor does that. 
He does that. So again, that is just some of the things. Of course, we want what you what we always talk about, the women's ministry, the men's ministry, the youth ministry. But one thing God told me to say, I'm getting ready to close. When people want to know, you know, what are we going to do? It really depends on the gifts God sends in the door. You never think about a certain type of ministry until you see somebody who has that gift. Amen? What's the name? You don't have, if I'm not ordained or anointed to do that, it's kind of hard to get that started and get it successful. Trust me, we know. Now I set myself down from the praise. <laughs> Amen? I had a season for that. This won't it. But the point is, God will build the ministry and the needs of the ministry around who walks through that door. Amen? Amen. Somebody give God a hand clap for praise. Again. You can find all some of this information. I didn't even cover all of it. You can go to the website and you can find our bios. Links to our bios are on this website. And our bio, bios are here on the kingdompraise.org website. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you who have been listening, who have been watching. Amen. And we pray that something has been said or done that attracts you, amen, to the ministry. Amen. But we're all about the total man's uh, reaching his destiny, his or her destiny, amen, and potential in, the, in their Christian walk with God. Amen? amen? Amen. So let's stand to our feet and we're going to pray ourselves out of here. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank God for you joining us here at Truth for Life Ministries on this Bible study here at 2940 Wakefield Pines Drive, Unit 107, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27614. I am yours truly, the co-pastor here, Evangelist Martin Spruill, and we thank God for our senior pastor here, Elder Eric Spruill. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you right now for everything that has been said and done. Lord, we ask that you rest, rule, and abide with us, God, and uh, walk with us, talk with us, and pull us into an even deeper relationship with you, God. Lord, we love you and ask that you continue to build the ministry, continue to build the, uh, bring the people, God, so we can do what thus says the Lord. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you all of the praise, and in Jesus' precious name, everybody shout amen. 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 Amen, amen. amen to amen. God be the glory.